Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Huge Trump signs just went up everywhere and cover buses, sending major message about what's coming. President Trump has done what every prior president in my lifetime has promised, but none had the strength or guts to follow through. I have determined that it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, said President Trump a few months ago. He then added, while previous presidents have made this a major campaign promise, they failed to deliver. Today, I am delivering. And in doing so, President Trump and the world will finally see the promise become a reality by having the United States Embassy moved from its current location in Tel Aviv, to the capital of Israel, Jerusalem. Previous administrations have promised this during campaigns but once in office, they have completely avoided the move because they did not want to inflame the tensions between the Palestinians and Israelis because most erroneously believe that appeasing Muslim terrorists is the way to peace. Although no other nation has their embassy in Jerusalem someone has to be the first to make the move, and that someone in the United States under the leadership of President Donald Trump. As you can see above, in response to Trump's announcement. God bless Donald Trump signs are popping up all over the city of Jerusalem. A recent poll found that 77% of Israelis believe that President Trump is more pro-Israel than pro-Palestinian. This is a huge contrast to the prior administration where only 4% thought President Obama was more pro-Israel. When President Trump made the decision the anti-Semitic United Nations was quick to condemn the decision even though UN Ambassador Nikki Haley warned the US would think long and hard before funding the UN if the vote went this way. Haley certainly reminded the rest of the world that the U.S. is a sovereign nation and we do not answer to anyone. Trump himself later weighed in by saying we're watching those votes, let them vote against us, we'll save a lot. We don't care. More on this via WND. Ben Shapiro listed seven reasons Trump's decision to move our embassy to Jerusalem is right, calling it an act of not only political bravery but moral courage. But is it an act that God himself will bless? Is there spiritual significance to this decision as well? Earlier this year, a pastor asked me if there was any way to get a message to the president. With great passion, he said to me, during the campaign, Donald Trump promised to move the embassy his first day in office, but he didn't do it. And when did the protest marches against him begin? His second day in office. He will never see the full blessing of God until he makes good on his promise. Others believe that Trump's decision will prove disastrous. As a headline on the Daily Mail proclaims, he's declaring war on 1.5 billion Muslims. Trump will recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital today despite international fury from the Pope, Britain, Russia, China, and Palestinians. In the words of the Palestinian authorities Manuel Hassashin, he is declaring war in the Middle East, he is declaring war against 1.5 billion Muslims, and, hundreds of millions of Christians that are not going to accept the holy shrines to be totally under the hegemony of Israel. In reality, Trump is not declaring war in the Middle East not declaring war against 1.5 billion Muslims and in no way, shape, size or form declaring war on hundreds of millions of Christians. In fact, the very notion that Christians will not accept the holy shrines being totally under the hegemony of Israel is absolute nonsense. First, America's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital changes nothing on the ground at all, especially when it comes to the Christian holy sites, which have been under Israeli hegemony for decades. Second, it is under Jewish hegemony that Middle Eastern Christians have access to these holy sites and freedom to practice their faith. The restrictions generally come under Islamic, not Israeli rule. Still, the question must be asked, why the uproar over Jerusalem? Why does the whole world care? Why does the Pope weigh in? Why are Muslim nations in such upheaval? Why are Russia and China concerned? What makes Jerusalem so important? Jerusalem was never the capital of a Palestinian or Arab state. For that matter, there was not even a concept of a Palestinian state until the middle of the 20th century and no such thing as a Palestinian people until after the Six-Day War in 1967. Every other nation on the planet chooses its capital city, and the other nations recognize that city and put their embassies there. Why won't the rest of the world recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital? Why are the embassies located in Tel Aviv rather than Jerusalem? Jerusalem is the historic capital of the Jewish people. Going back to roughly 1000 BC Jews face Jerusalem when they pray, and synagogues in the west face east, while every year at Passover, the hopeful prayer is recited, next year in Jerusalem. And in terms of functional reality, Jerusalem is the capital of the nation. There's nothing to discuss or debate. That's reality, plain and simple. And what about God's love for the Muslim world? What about justice for the Palestinians? The answer is simple, if they want to be blessed, 
they, too, must recognize the Jewish claim to Jerusalem, a city that they do not need to possess or divide. They don't need to call for violence and war. Instead, they need to accept that East Jerusalem will not be the capital of a Palestinian state, that working with the Jewish people rather than against them will be in their best interests too, and that the Jewish people have a massively greater claim to Jerusalem than the Muslims do. As for President Trump, he is convinced that this formal recognition of Jerusalem will aid and abet the peace process. But even if that is not the case, I truly believe that God will bless him and bless America for making this courageous and righteous decision. Let's watch and see in the coming days. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.